Hey everybody, welcome! In this video, I'll be playing one of your games. This is Wingless Angels, created by Well, who's in my Discord community, and is creating this game. They're following along with my multiplayer shooter course. They took my ultimate shooter course as well. And this is a great application to some of the skills they've learned, as well as lots of skills that they've accumulated on their own as a developer. So this is a really talented individual. I'm very excited to be playing this game and it's a mobile game. So I downloaded this game on the Google Play Store. It's called Wingless Angels and you can get it on the Google Play Store as well. And I believe it's available for iOS, so you can download it on that platform as well. And this is a work in progress, so we'll be keeping that in mind as we play this essentially alpha of this game. Now, I'm going to be interviewing Well and asking him some questions about his experience creating this game and other games. So stay tuned for that video. That'll be posted shortly. And when that happens, I'll place a link in the description below. So. If you want to get inspired and see an example of something you can create in Unreal Engine, this is going to be a great demonstration of that. So without further ado, let's play Wingless Angels. All right, so I'm going to find the game here. Here it is, Wingless Angels. Ignore the fact that I have Clash of Clans on my phone. It's for research purposes only. All right, so Wingless Angels here. This is looking great. Now, I have sound that I'm recording here, so hopefully I can manage the sound and the sound of my voice and it doesn't sound too bad. Now, I tapped to start, so this is a great starting cinematic here. Really awesome style. So we have bulletin and info and privacy. I've checked all that out before. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit mission and this is a nice touch here, the little uh, tool tips, the little tips that come up. You see that a lot in games while you're loading. That's a really great method of taking up the time while you're loading the game. Just show little tips of things, you know, little information that can help you throughout the game. Now look at this starting level. It's, it's like the starting lobby. This is really nice, really nice touch. We have a tool tip pop up here, the little exclamation point there. Let's see what we see. Uh, need to equip two weapons. So there's obviously something special here that I need two weapons in order to unlock that. So I need to I need to figure out how to do that. So here we have this lady here. Looks like I can hit the exclamation point and we have some buttons here. I'm gonna hit the storage. Looks like I have, this is the broken shotgun. I, I got this uh, earlier when playing the game. Looks like it's a a broken shotgun. It has a level, so the weapons have levels. That's a nice touch. They have rarities. This one has the, a base damage of 8, mag capacity of 15, and a shoot rate. And it looks like I can enhance or upgrade. So that's interesting. I'm going to hit enhance. Okay, so I need some gold to enhance this, and it'll enhance the base damage. So that's nice, and, and that's quite an upgrade because if I go back and take a look, my base damage... Okay, so it's an 8. So it looks like base damage plus 0, so I'll probably have to upgrade it more than once to get a damage buff there. I'm going to hit upgrade. Gold cost 500. Okay, so... And material cost. So it looks like it enhances the mag capacity, so that's nice. Okay, well, looks like I need some gold because... I see up at the top right, I have zero gold. Oh, and I have some gems here. I'm going to hit the plus there. Watch and add to earn five diamonds. That's great. This is a great method of revenue, uh, mo you know, monetizing your game, having them be able to watch ads to get diamonds. I'm not going to force the watchers of this video to watch an ad, so I'm going to hit no. But that would, that would be great. If I weren't recording, I would uh, watch that ad and get some more diamonds there. So that's great. Okay, so here's a portal. There's a Lost Forest, Devil Dryad, and, and a Drift Place. And, and it looks like that is locked. So I'm going to hit Lost Forest. Let's see. Okay, if escape, only obtain coins will reserve. So this tip is telling me that I'll keep my coins if I do uh, get eliminated, if I die. 
Now, this is, this is really cool. I have my thumb on this joystick UI element, and I'm just swiping on the screen to look around, so that's nice. And if I tap these buttons, let's see what happens if I tap the bullet shell there. Then I'll fire, and that's a nice touch. I got the, the, the particles hitting the ground, and the shell eject, and it looks like the shell hits the ground and actually sticks around for a little bit. So that's a really nice touch. Now this is a roguelike, interestingly. We have a shooter roguelike going on. And roguelikes are cool because they have random randomly dungeon, uh, sorry, random dungeon generators for the levels. So this is basically a dungeon. I mean, it's, it's an outdoors style dungeon, but we have randomly generated levels, which is a really nice touch. And I'm noticing a uh, mini map up at the top left. So, uh, so good job on implementing that mini map there. So let's go into this room and see what happens. Ooh, oh, oh, crap. Yeah, this is, this is challenging already. These little guys, these little guys are pretty quick. Maybe I should get that guy first. And let's see if I can, see if I can not die right away. My, my health is going down. So let's see if I, okay. I defeated the first room. Whew. All right, here's a health pickup and it brought me back up to 80. So not quite all the way. So this is gonna be a challenging game, I can tell already. Let's see what we get in this second room. Yeah, I'm seeing that those those little guys are really fast. They're they're really gonna mess me up. But this, this uh, sword icon here lets me dodge, so that's a nice touch. And I really like those particle, the, uh, the effects, the visual effects for when I dodge. So that's really nice. So let's see if I can, okay, got one. Let's see if I can get this other guy. Ooh, this is challenging. Come on, guy. Just die, please. There we go. Cool. And I got some ammo. And I'm noticing that dissolve effect. Really nice touch. And let's see what happens when we go into the next room here. Oh, boss fight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if I can... And I can jump, it looks like. So let's see if I can jump over these. If I get hurt then then maybe jumping isn't the best method. Nope, I still got hurt. So can't jump over those without getting hurt. And this guy is just launching these projectiles. So it's a really nice touch. And I notice, look at that. It's showing me where those projectiles land so I can avoid that area. So another really good boss fight technique there. If they're launching projectiles and you show on the ground where those are going to land and the player actually has a chance of evading and getting out of the way so that's nice okay another room oh see those guys are so fast got to get those first and then these angry butterflies man what did i do to piss these guys off let's see here if i can get that guy okay not too bad oh and i, I realized i i can zoom and i think that's a double tap yeah so if i double tap i can zoom in so that's pretty nice so maybe I can look, see, I, I uh, looks like I missed an ammo pickup over there. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there. And let's see what else we have in store here. So it looks like I already made it to this room. So I'm going to look at that mini map. That's a really nice touch because when it comes to these random dungeon generators, you can easily find yourself backtracking your way back to rooms you've already visited. So looking up at that mini map is a really nice way to just kind of oh oh here we go we have a boss fight uh, this one is oh wow I'm not doing that much damage so this is gonna be tough so oh and I just realized I have 18 health this is not good I am definitely gonna die definitely gonna die especially if there are more enemies that are going to spawn which is a very common thing you see with boss fights but I think if I keep moving I might be safe. Just gotta make sure I don't back up into a corner and get stuck. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Okay, so if you run out of ammo, it switches you to the pistol. So this is even, even more challenging. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to survive this. It does look like if I get a headshot, oh, oh man, I'm gonna die. If I get a headshot, I should probably get more damage. 
So let's see if I can manage. Oh, this is this is hard. Yeah, so I saw 21 damage, it was red. And of course I died. Wow. Maybe I should have picked up that ammo back there. But I wonder if I have two weapons. If I can go over here now. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, I don't get that warning. Yeah, I do. I do get the warning message. I need to equip two weapons. Uh, what happens if I go up to this thing? Oh, okay. Create a public host or quick start. And public join says join a random public host to start. Awesome. So, and I have a little timer going there. So you can do a private host. That's, that's really nice. You see that in Elden Ring, you can have a password. And then if someone else has a private session going, you can enter the password and join. That's nice. I'm going to try the public host. Let's see if I can join that and maybe someone else will join. Here's another tool tip and waiting for other player to join. Okay, so I'm in some sort of lobby here. And yeah, so I don't know if anyone's going to join right now, but this is nice. Uh, hopefully I can get someone else to join me and we can try some multiplayer. So that's nice. I'm going to hit this gear icon at the top and it looks like there's automatic fire. Now I'm assuming that means if you're aiming at someone or something that it'll fire automatically. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And of course there's camera sensitivity. That's, that's nice too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go back out. And it looks like I'm just going to wait here until someone joins. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel and go back to single player mode. So really nice touch. We have single player and multiplayer mode. I'd really like to test out that multiplayer mode. So I'll see if I can get someone to join me here soon. So let's try this again. I want to see if I can make it to the, to the point of defeating that boss. Because that boss is challenging. It has a lot of health. So that's the thing with these roguelikes. You die and you go back to the start. So the, the permadeath is just what really makes the roguelikes kind of their own thing, you know? Now this is nice. So now when I aim, I, I don't have to hit that fire button. It's firing for me. So the auto fire is a really great touch for mobile games because I use my left hand to zoom around and look around. And if I have to release my thumb just to hit the fire button, then that makes it a lot harder. So now all I need to do is just aim at these little guys. And I think I'm still using my uh, assault rifle. Yeah, I see my assault rifle in the hand there. I'm wondering if I can change weapons. Let's see if I can, if there's any way to do that. Uh, nope, just options. So there must be some way to, to equip two weapons. So I still need to learn how to do that. Here's this boss guy. And he wasn't too hard to kill. Just got to avoid those laser beams and those projectiles. So not too bad. All right, let's get this next room here. Let's see. Okay. So we got the uh, trees and the angry butterfly. So got. I like to take out the projectile launchers first because it's just a nuisance, you know, trying to hit the, the melee attackers while you're getting shot at. So... That's my, that's usually my tactic. All right, looking at the mini map, looks like I haven't made it to this room yet. And I'm expecting a boss fight. Yep, boss fight. All right, I'm gonna try to aim at the head as much as I can because this, this one is more challenging. Lots of health. This is one of those serious bosses. I really like the assets though. I really like this, this, uh, this boss lady. I'm wondering if, uh, well, if you if you made these assets or if these are uh, from some uh, asset store or something. All right. So it looks like I ran out of ammo. So I have to switch and I think I switched by hitting that. Yeah. So if I hit that bullet shell icon, that's basically how I can switch weapons. Oh, boy. I hope I kill this thing because my health is steadily going down. Oh, God. Okay, so we have <laughs> we have more enemies. All right, I wonder if I can go into the other room. I cannot. Oh, that is nice. That's a great touch. So I, I'm trapped. So I have to... Maybe I should kill these little guys first. Unless, of course, they don't die. Oh, no. That is cruel. Why? Well, why are you doing this to me? 
Oh my god. So I'm really hoping that we don't spawn more because if I can't kill these guys, that means I just have to avoid them and just keep moving while I'm shooting. And with the pistol, this is double hard. So let's see if I can do this. Not too much more to kill this thing. Let's see if I can kill this guy. This, this, uh, madam. Almost there. Oh man, I, this is hard. Okay, so the dodge is a very, very useful thing in this situation because, oh my god, oh my god, there are four now? Oh hell no, this is gonna be hard. Oh, this is hard. Okay, let's see if I can manage to kill this thing. Top priority, kill the boss, and just move. I think if I, as long as I move around in a circle like this, I'm, I'm good, because her projectiles are not gonna hit me as long as I'm still moving, so... Headshots are imperative at this point, so let's see if I can do this. And I think I have unlimited ammo with the pistol, so at least there's that. Because if I ran out of ammo right now, there's no way to get more. So yeah, we need that unlimited pistol ammo. Okay, I think I got the hang of this. I think as, as long as I just keep flanking, as long as I keep strafing around this, and the enemies will just keep chasing me. That's a, that's a good good methodology. Really well designed. I like this boss fight. If you don't figure out those patterns, then, you know, you're just gonna keep dying. Oh, yes! Yes, look at this. I think... Oh, no! Oh, man, I'm almost dead. Nope, she's not dead yet. I thought I got her. I stunned her. That was nice. So she kind of, like, did this little circle thing. It looks like I, I reached a, a point in her health and stunned her. Okay. Oh, my God, they're still there. Ah, oh, they don't go away? Oh, holy crap. Okay, hopefully I can s kill them now. If not, then this would be just really cruel. I think I picked up some ammo though. So if I change to my assault rifle... Nope, I can't. So apparently that's something that maybe only happens during the boss fight or something. And let's see if I can at least kill these guys now. If they're here forever, then that's gonna make this a very difficult game. Ah, I think they're here forever. Okay. So maybe this is, I don't know, is that, is that intentional? I don't know, but I don't think I can kill these guys. Well, hopefully this means that I can go to a new room and maybe I can get some, some more ammo or something. Oh, look at this. Nope, I can't, I have to defeat everything in this room first. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Knocked him off. Hopefully that means he's dead. Or maybe I have to knock them all off the side. Yeah, I'm not sure, but this... This is challenging. So I think I'm just gonna keep shooting them and see what happens. I'd like to shoot the same one, but... That's gonna be challenging. So it just might be the case that these things can't die. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a design or if it just still needs to be implemented. This is a work in progress, so... I'm just gonna see if I can keep shooting them. And if I can't, maybe I can go back the way I came. Nope, I am I am trapped here. Unless, unless I can go back... Nope, I see the... Uh, yeah, I, I see the... the effect there showing me that I'm trapped in so yeah this is looks like I'm not gonna be able to kill these guys wait I killed one oh they're just strong now I hope that I can still get out of this room even though I knocked one off the edge hopefully it died when it fell otherwise it's still falling and then I'll be trapped here forever so that's something I, I just have to restart and try not to do. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think I'm not trapped anymore. So I'm going to pick up all my loot here. Get my coins. I need to get 500 coins to upgrade that shotgun. So those coins are... They're kind of rare. I mean, you don't necessarily get a guaranteed coin drop, right? 
Oh no, I'm still trapped. I see the thing. I should not have knocked him off the edge because I think I can't make it. I can't make it out. Let's see if I can fall. Nope, I can't fall, but the enemies can. All right, so that means I'm gonna have to go back and defeat the boss again and make sure I don't uh, knock one of them off the edge because then I can't kill them and now I'm stuck. So let's hit the gear icon. What is this here? That first one. Maybe that's the level. I think that's, yeah, level one for the gun. Okay. Well, let's see if I can, can I get back out? I don't, I'm not so sure if I can get out of the game. So yeah, that's something that you might want to put a, a little, unless I, unless there's just a way to do it and I can't figure it out, but I think I'm going to have to close the app and, uh, and come back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can, if I can, uh, open up the game again and just restart from the beginning here. All right, so there's that nice starting screen. Uh, and remember, this is this is a early access, right? It's basically an alpha, which is pretty amazing for an alpha. Everything seems to be working pretty nicely. Uh, looks like I have zero coins, so uh, maybe because I exited in, in a non-clean fashion, uh, I don't have those coins. Uh, so so that's that's too bad. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, there's my equipment. So the equipment saved. I have in storage my shotgun. Uh, let's see if I can... No, I still can't enhance and I still can't upgrade. So I noticed that symbol says material cost right here. And so it looks like that's what I was looking at for my weapon, for my other weapon. It's a material cost. And again, what was this? Oh yes, that's that's for multiplayer. Cool. All right, I'm gonna try this again and see if I can beat that boss, and uh, and maybe this time I can avoid knocking one of those tree guys off of the edge because I feel like I have to destroy all of them in order to advance. And I really want to see what comes next after that boss. So I'm gonna really try not to die. And oh, auto aiming is not auto shooting. Auto fire is not activated so I'm definitely gonna turn that on after I kill these guys that's a really really nice touch yeah because you know hitting that fire button when you can't use you know your thumb to aim is a big challenge so I'm gonna go back turn on auto fire there we go that's gonna make things a lot easier all right I think I yeah I came from that direction so that's the cool thing about these random dungeons is that you know Really, since it's random, you can choose to go anywhere you want. Now, I'm not... Oh, shoot. Those little guys... Ah, oh, you gotta take those little guys out first. That is very punishing. And that goes along the lines of the roguelike game genre. Monsters in multiplayer mode are stronger. Oh, my God. That's crazy. So I'm guessing there's a co-op mode. Yeah, I really want to try that. All right, so let's get these little guys first. Still have auto fire on. Oh, he still got me, but I have a health pickup. But I really have to be careful here because these rogue these roguelikes are very punishing. Yeah, permadeath is hard. But I did see a tooltip earlier that said something about reviving a fallen teammate. So maybe you can... You can, uh, if you fall, then you can revive your, your teammates. These tree guys are actually pretty strong. But I got a couple coins here. Yeah, I wish I could see how many coins I have. It'd be nice to see how many coins that I've collected so far. Okay, so this tree guy, not very tough. Seems like it's less, uh, it takes less shots to kill this guy than it does for the regular trees. Oh, and of course, my health. Looks like my health, I think that says 87, so if I can, there we go. Picked up the health. All right, let's see what's next. So I just hit a boss. So that's nice. I think that, uh, that it's taken into account if you just hit a boss. I'm not sure the, uh, you know, the algorithm for determining what spawns and if it's, you know, random, randomly between a boss and a non-boss room 
but it looks like it's it's pretty well architected so that if you just hit a boss fight then the next room will not be a boss fight so that's pretty nice that's something i'd like to ask if uh you know what what are the, what are the, what's the algorithm for that and let's see if i'm just missing this or yeah i was just missing it all right next i haven't hit this room and I'm kind of expecting that boss lady, but let's see. Oh, what's that over there? Interesting. I think I need to get to that. All right. So I have my pistol here. And so this is going to be pretty challenging, but I think I've basically figured out the pattern for this lady. I just need to circle around her. And if I can try to kill her as soon as I can, that'd be great because there's going to be more and more trees. Actually, I don't think the trees are invincible. I think that because these trees are kind of boss fight trees, that they're stronger. So the trees that are spawned when I'm fighting this lady are probably, they have higher health than the regular trees. And that's, that's kind of what I'm assuming here. Now, as long as I'm getting headshots, I'm, I'm getting 21 damage. So I'm gonna try to get as many headshots as possible. And I probably shouldn't get too close because those projectiles are pretty fast. So try to get those 21 shots. Looks like it's a times three bonus for hitting headshots. And I'm going to try to keep my health as high as possible here because this is going to get challenging very quickly as soon as those trees get spawned. I really like the projectiles because I can't just stand here and shoot. So that makes it makes it you know it gives that added challenge because i have to keep aiming and headshots are not the easiest thing with this boss as the head is not that big so it's really training me to try to get my aim down really well and i'm really expecting some trees to pop up pretty soon so that's probably based on a random timer um so really nice design here okay so i stunned the boss oh no that's not stunned that's summoning more trees oh my god that's really cool that's a really cool touch i think what i'm gonna do is save the trees for last as long as i can keep flanking i can probably survive but she seems to want to stay in that corner now and i kind of don't want to get trapped screw it i'm just gonna keep flanking i like that flower what was that? Yeah, the flower there. That's cool. All right, so... Oh, crap. The dodge is coming in handy now. Really like that dodge. So since she doesn't just stand in the middle, I, it's, not really, it's not really that easy to just keep flanking her. I have to keep moving back and forth and make sure I don't get hit by these trees. So that's, that's also a really great design that she doesn't just stand in the middle there. That she uh, forces me to move throughout the map. Oh, there she just did, did the little spin around thing and made some more trees. This is, this is a big challenge. Now that, uh, that, that issue with the enemy falling off the edge of the map, that's not an issue in this one because we're in one of the... No, I guess there is an edge right there. So I'm going to try to steer clear of that edge and just see if I can keep getting headshots here. And aiming is coming in handy because she's got a really small head, so, you know, getting those headshots is tough. And as long as I can dodge, then I think I should be able to steer clear of these enemies. And again, that auto fire is really, really handy. So I'm definitely gonna keep that on as I play this game in the future because, you know, not having it on a mobile shooter is just really, just really hard. But then again, you know, maybe for multiplayer that might be a different story. Oh my gosh, I think she's spawning more. Yep, she's spawning more. I think I have, what, eight trees now? So I just need to kill this lady before she spawns anymore because this is just going to be hard. Okay, got her. Awesome. I need, oh, I thought those were health pickups. Oh no. And I saw them blinking, so it looks like those things were going to go away if I didn't pick them up soon. So that's cool. I don't know what those question mark pickups are. Something to, to think about. I'll probably learn about that here in the future. Now these guys are, they're not too hard. They're not launching projectiles or anything. 
they're just really, really strong. So I think as long as I just circle around them and kill them, I should be good. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Hopefully speed up the process by getting a bunch of headshots here. So we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to kill them. And as long as I don't knock one off the edge, hopefully I can advance to the next room. So just getting headshots here. Just popping them off. And as long as I don't get trapped, I think I'm okay. But having those minions spawn in is a really great touch for these boss fights. And they, they're so strong, I thought they were invincible, so I was just not shooting them before. And because it takes so many shots, if I'm just getting a boss launching projectiles at me the whole time, and I'm just trying to pick these off, I'm probably not going to win, right? Because... Um, if it takes that long to just kill a tree and then, you know, 30 seconds or a minute later she spawns more trees, then I'm just going to be shooting trees the whole time. So you kind of just have to avoid these trees and, you know, take the boss out. Take out the source of the trees, right? Take out the spawning source and then you can usually just, uh, you know, take the trees out later. Okay, so now that I have ammo... I want to switch back. I want to switch back to my other gun. So how do I do that? That's something I'm not sure how to do. I know that hitting that that button, to, the fire button, swapped weapons, I think. But I could be mistaken. And what's this? Did I pick up a rocket launcher? Looks like a rocket launcher icon. Huh, interesting. Oh, look, I can see my coins. I have to hit the gear icon. I have 45 coins. Okay, that's cool. So I now know how many coins I have. Now, it would really, really suck to go to the next room and just die because <laughs> it took a lot of effort just to get to this point. But look at that. It looks like this might be the end. Oh, this is probably another boss fight. No, no, it's the end of the level. Cool. So I'm going to go up to this. Stage clear. Awesome. All right. Cool. Okay, so I have 45 more coins, and it looks like I have another weapon. I'm not sure. Let's see. How do I see what my weapons are? Maybe I have to go to her. Equipment. Okay, I'm going to hit this other icon. Oh, look at that. I can equip another. So it looks like that's how I was supposed to equip my other weapon. I had the shotgun, but I'm going to choose this. I have a rocket launcher. I'm going to equip that. And now, maybe that's why I couldn't swap weapons before, but now I have two weapons equipped. That means I can go over here. This guy said I needed two weapons to do something, so I'm going to hit the uh, exclamation point here. And look at this. Is this a ranking system? Wow, there's a ranking system. Or something. What is this? This is my ranking? And looks like there's like a hash code or something. Interesting. I'm going to hit from wave one. Oh, what have I done? Am I going to have to do... Interesting. Oh, waves. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Oh, shoot. Well, at least I don't fall forever, so that's good. So it looks like... Hopefully, I can still go back and try this again. I fell off the edge. This looks like it's going to be hard. I, I need to figure out how to swap weapons as soon as I can because those dudes are going to come over and try to mess me up. So I can fire. Oh, okay. The bottom right, those little arrows there, that's how I swap. Okay. Now, I don't know how much ammo I have. So maybe there's a way to see how much ammo I have. Let's see. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. Oh, right, right. I was wondering why I was firing. It's because auto fire is on. And I might actually want to turn that off. For the rocket launcher. Oh, look at what I almost just... Okay, let's see if I can jump. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought I was stuck there for a second. All right, let's see if I can get these guys. Okay, I think I'm out of ammo. Time to resort to... Okay, now these guys have green 
for their leaves. I think the, the boss fight trees actually had gray. So that was cool. All right, so I think... I, I'm not sure if I ran out of rockets. But, okay, wave two. I'm expecting this to be more challenging. I like the rocket launcher. I'm going to go back to that. Nope, I think I am... Nope, I'm not out of ammo. Oh, this is awesome. But I'm getting shot at by other things, so... I might want to... Oh, I can't just stand around. Take out the projectile launchers first. As a general rule, if you have skeleton archers or something, you're going to want to take those guys out. The, the projectile launchers are great because you can't just stand in a safe area and, you know, just stand still and, and shoot because then these guys will take you out. Oh, man. And I didn't follow my own advice. I need to kill these guys. Got him. Okay, great. Next wave. Okay. Next wave starts in 10 seconds. So that's cool because that gives me some time to pick up the pickup. So that's really well thought out. This game is a really, really well designed. Okay, those guys are really annoying because they run so fast. Oh, am I getting launched at? Oh, shoot. Oh, man. So it's a, a wave sort of game that's cool like arcade style i really like that that's really cool excellent and and it's cool because you can't do it until you've gotten two weapons now i haven't tried the shotgun so let's see if i can go back to this lady and go to my equipment and i'm going to choose the rocket launcher and swap it out for the shotgun let's see how that works i'm going to try that in the wave and also, I'm wondering if my other weapon now shows up in storage. Yeah, it does. So if I go to equipment and I equip the rocket launcher, then if I go back to storage, then I see my shotgun there. Okay, so that's how that works. So I'm going to equip the shotgun and let's see how this works. And I, have, I, have I talked to this one yet? Let me see. Oh, okay. So here's how I can get the gems. I think I might have looked at her before. Let's go back and do some waves. So, from wave one. So I wonder if there's a way to start this from a future wave. All right. So wave one. And I have my, looks like the shotgun on my back. So I can swap between those two. So that's nice. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, I need to enable automatic fire. So I'm just going to try to take these guys out. And it looks like auto fire has a distance threshold so if they're too far away you can't auto fire i wonder how that's going to work with snipers i'm assuming there's going to be some snipers in this game so i wonder if you can snipe from farther than the shooting distance all right so next wave starts in 10 seconds i better pick up those pickups there and let's see what we got here so we do have those those projectile launchers, dang it. Take those out first. Got them. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, there's three over there. Yeah, I really wish I could see my ammo unless I'm not looking at the right spot. I think I'm out of ammo, so time to switch to the shotgun. Oh no, oh no, oh, I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh. I was, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't getting that, I wasn't getting that uh, little joystick. I, I must have, like, lifted my, my thumb. All right, I think I have 10 seconds to collect these. I'm going to switch back. Okay, wave three. Back to my assault rifle, assuming I have ammo now. Oh my god, those little guys. Damn it. That is challenging. Wow. Okay. Well, that's great. I think I'm going to call it quits for this. And uh, hopefully I can get a multiplayer uh, tester or player to join me in multiplayer. I'd like to I'd like to play this game in multiplayer. But yeah, so that's, that's a really amazing job 
done with this game. This I, I really like that there's a welcoming screen and then there's this, you know, this area where we can talk to NPCs and this, you know, we got the NPC to manage our in inventory for us and we have, you know, the NPC over here where we can get gems. I'm really interested in seeing what I can do with those gems. And then of course this very special arcade mode where you once you have two wins you can go you can go there i'm gonna just really quickly see okay a drift place is still locked so i can't get to that so that'll be something to figure out how i can get to in the future so really nice really well done i'm very impressed with this game a lot of work it looks like has gone into this game so really awesome job all right i'm gonna go ahead and call it quits all right, so there you have it, Wingless Angels. I didn't play the multiplayer version. Maybe I'll have another gameplay video for that in the future. But I am very impressed by this game. This is really great, really good experience playing this game. So well done, well, this is great. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw a like and a subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. That really helps out the channel. And coming soon will be my Patreon that will be released and you'll get the opportunity to see YouTube videos early as well as access to other content. So stay tuned for that and the link will be in the description when that is launched. And also stay tuned for the interview. I'll be interviewing Well, who created this game, and asking him some questions about how he did some things and his inspirations and things like that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that. That's coming soon. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time.